The new villa map coming to Rainbow Six Siege in Operation Parabellum may look like a nice spot to relax. But attackers will need to be on high alert to deal with the devious gadgets that the two new defending operators from the Italian CTU are putting into play. One of the most important skills in Siege is spotting your enemies before they spot you. But what if your enemy wasn't your enemy? Say hello to Alibi, and Alibi, and Alibi, and Alibi. Only one of them is your opponent, the rest are holographic decoys. Alibi can throw her three decoys anywhere, but they'll only deploy if they have the space. They can't hurt you, but if you shoot them or touch them, your position will be compromised immediately, and you'll be marked repeatedly for the next few seconds, which is bad. You're exposed. Watch out for decoys pretending to spawn peek, and decoys pretending to hold angles. Watch out for decoys that used to be decoys, but are now just alibi, pretending to be a decoy. Doing any damage to the base of the decoy will destroy it, and as long as you don't shoot or touch the hologram while doing it, you won't be marked. Twitch is an especially good decoy hunter. Thatcher can disrupt them for a bit, and Glaz's sight won't be fooled. You can also keep an eye out for visual discrepancies. The decoy always wears Alibi's default clothing and wields her Storm SMG without any attachments. So if you see Alibi wielding the new ACS-12 shotgun, you'll know she's the real deal. So what happens if Alibi chucks a decoy outside? Well, like a defender who runs outside, the decoy gets marked. But marks are different when alibis in the match because they don't reveal the operator's identity. So a decoy deployed outside and a defender that runs outside will look the same unless the attacker can actually see them with their eyes. Though the decoy's mark expires after 10 seconds, that's 10 seconds with a lot of opportunity for mischief. And mischief just might be alibi's most effective weapon. By making you doubt your own eyesight and second-guess your own reflexes, Alibi gets in your head, and that's not where you want a defender to be. Five seconds remaining. Now, we all know how powerful cameras are in Siege, but the second new defender, Maestro, is equipped with cameras that are a new kind of powerful. Behold the evil eye. It's bulletproof. It can see through smoke. It shoots a freaking laser beam. Maestro can plant his evil eyes on floors or walls just like Jaeger does with his ADS. And once installed, they're hard to get rid of. Bullets or melee hits won't work. You'll need to use explosives, or destroy the surface it's planted on, or call in your old pal Sledge for a quick demo job. Thatcher and Twitch can disable them temporarily, but as long as the shutter is closed, evil eyes are free to be used as cameras by anyone on the defending team. They can mark targets and they can see through smoke, so you'd better be sure there isn't one watching when you rappel in through a courtyard roof opening and try to plant the diffuser. But the evil eye doesn't just spectate. When Maestro is using one and aims down sights, the shutter will slide open to expose a laser. Once the shutter is completely open, Maestro can fire the laser to destroy drones, blow up breach charges, and damage attacking operators. A single shot may not do a lot of damage, but you can fire in rapid succession, and this can be very dangerous for an attacker with low health. Deploy in a good spot, and you can quickly land a bunch of shots before your enemy zeroes in on you, or you overheat the laser. When the shutter is open, the evil eye is vulnerable to gunfire and melee attacks. And remember that the laser won't interrupt a diffuser plan. It's up to Maestro and his LMG or ACS-12 shotgun to clear the room. If you seek dastardly new gadget strategies, prepare for Operation Parabellum. And to keep up with the latest in Rainbow Six Siege, visit us at news.ubisoft.com and subscribe to the Ubisoft YouTube channel.